Definitely the reason that I'm here because at a time where I was growing up just wanting to play quote unquote jazz, um, before I met him, I didn't have the uh, proper tutelage or individuals that wanted me to aspire to even play the music, much, you know, even think about it, much less play it. And, um, but I knew that I wanted to uh, play it because. Um, I was growing by listening to our records and playing along with them at an alarming rate, and um, he was one that didn't discourage, you know, Mr. Washington was. And in talking about the various things that make up uh, this particular music, as far as learning blues scales, learning how to play around other scales as well, at the spur of the moment, and being able to improvise, just, you know, or go freestyle, if you will. <laughs> first met Wenton actually in March of 85. He came to our hometown Detroit um, as a soloist with the uh, Detroit Symphony Orchestra. And he also played with our band as well at our high school. Um, so he came and asked a few questions, you know, played with the band. I played, you know, we exchanged information and um, everything was nice, you know. But there was a uh, one nice uh, time that I really remember on uh, telephone, and I uh, called, have you been shedding or whatever? And I told him, you know, I've been uh, listening to uh, Birds Embraceable You and stuff, you know. He was like, okay, uh, foo bee boo do I was like, oh, so you know what's all, okay. foo boo bee boo then I joined in, foo bee boo boo do foo dee boo doo lee foo dee boo doo lee foo bee boo doo lee boo 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 you know, and so on. So, um, like, yeah, you know, it's like, yeah, you're at 40, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, JC's been dealing with that bird, yeah. you know. <laughs> so, um, it was one of those nice bonding moments, you know. quality that I hear in Johnny Hodges is playing is the, um, the tune Passion Flower that he did with, uh, with Duke Ellington's orchestra, of course. Um, 
how he's scooping notes, um, particularly in the bridge where he's woo 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 wee. The thing about the um, those slides are you have to have a whole lot of control up in the, in the jib area, if you will, to um, make it sound effortless. And at the same time, keep it constantly falling like a, right along with the, um, the fingers on the saxophone. Because one false slip up you know, it'll sound, you have a definite break here. You're going from palm keys all the way back to your your upper stack here. So you have to make sure that this is all coming down at the right time and your armature has to, you know, come out. It's, it's really tripped out, you know. But once an individual gets it and becomes more personal with the horn, then it becomes more of an appendage rather than a chore, <laughs> Thank you.